Hey everybody, this is Christian from the Architect channel, and in this video I'm going to show you how to delete any layer you want inside of AutoCAD. So normally how people go about this is they go up to the layer properties panel up here, then they'll select the layer they want to delete, I'm going to do the walls layer in this case, and then they'll click on the stack of papers with the red X that says delete layer, you know, expecting that it will delete the layer, but as you can see it'll say the selected layer was not deleted, and it can be because of a few reasons it says over here, but more often than not, it's because there's still geometry on your layer. And when I say that, uh, geometry can mean walls, it can mean lines, it can mean blocks, text, it can be almost anything really, but as long as that geometry is still on your layer, you're not going to be able to delete that layer. So quick proof of concept is if I lock all of the layers except for the one I'm currently using, I can do Control alt delete to delete all of the walls along with all of the geometry on there. So now I shouldn't have any issues deleting it as you see right there. But obviously, I can't expect you to do that for every single drawing or every single layer, especially if you have a lot more than I have on here. So I'll show you a quick cheat code that I like to use called LAYDEL, L-A-Y-D-E-L, and you can hit enter. And that stands for layer delete, but before we get to the actual inputs, you're going to have to click this name button down here, or alternatively, you can hit the letter N and hit enter as well. So this will bring up a box that shows uh, every layer inside of your drawing, whether it has geometry on it or not. And from here, you can literally just click the layer that you want to delete and hit OK. Uh, but you don't have to click one at a time either. You can click once and then shift click to uh, select all of the ones in between. Alternatively, you can click once and then hold control to select a bunch of indig individual ones afterwards. So for my drawing, uh, let's say I want to delete these green appliances and I want to delete this text as well. So I'm going to control click both of those, hit OK, and hit delete layers. And as you can see, it cleaned up my drawing, uh, perhaps a little bit too much. You can't exactly see anything now, so I'm going to undo a few times and make sure all of these layers are unlocked. So that's how you delete uh, any layer you want. Uh, there's one more tool that I will show you which might not be useful for you, but sometimes you'll have a project with a bunch of unused layers, as I just created, mixed in with a bunch of uh, used layers, and you don't know which ones are which. So uh, an easy way to delete all of the layers that are being unused is by typing the purge command, P-U-R-G-E, then enter, and this will show you all of the items that aren't being used. So you go to the purgeable item list, and then under layers, you can select uh, I guess I already selected it earlier, but you can select layer 1 to layer 9. I mean, that's what they're named in this case, but uh, this will display all of the layers that are being unused in your model. So you can then simply click that, hit purge checked items, purge all checked items, and after that, if we go back to the layer properties, all of the ones that are being unused are now gone. So we just have everything that is currently being drawn on the drawing. So normally when people look up this video, they're probably looking for this laid out command right here. But the other two commands might help you down the road as well. If this video helped you at all, remember to uh, leave a like and stay subscribed if you want to see more AutoCAD tips like this in the future. Alright, see ya!